Boris Johnson's commendation of J.K. Rowling appears to endorse conventional principles while rebuffing excessive political correctness. Our children in universities are not free to really pursue okay. the course of their interests. There are the, the, the woke, the woke no are, are, are this everywhere. Is, are you woke? <laughs> <Penny? just> saying, <laughs> I'm awake, I'm awake, if that's what you're saying. But, but John, this is where all of us have got to yeah. have a lot more. This is where all of us have got to yeah. have a lot more yeah. courage. Courage. Yes. Yeah. I mean, this is the problem about the modern world. Prudence is everywhere. Courage is nowhere. And we're... Yeah. I, 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 I agree with that. And I think the, I think the, the, what's happening in universities, the restrictions on, on free speech, you know, JK Rowling being demonized when she's, uh, she's probably done more to encourage young people, uh, young people, thank you, yeah. Yeah, young people to read around, around the world than yeah. any other person yeah. I can, I can think of. I yeah. mean, she's a modern saint. Absolutely. It's unbelievable what they're, uh, what they're saying, what they're saying about her. And by the way, what, what's so crazy is what she says about gender is of course what 95% of the population secretly think, yeah. but, but don't have, to Tony's point, to Tony's point, don't have the guts to say, have the guts to say anymore, because they're worried that they're well, it's down a there. failure of authority as much of, as of freedom. I know, well that's why I think both Tony and I should be back in power as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> It seems to evaluate Boris Johnson's remarks as grappling with the challenge of maintaining genuineness amidst the tug of war between individual expression and societal expectations. Boris Johnson's commentary on J.K. Rowling's stance on gender reflects a stance favoring the preservation of traditional concepts of gender identity and expression. I perceive Boris Johnson's portrayal of J.K. Rowling's persona as emblematic of his apprehension towards conformism and advocacy for dissent. It underscores apprehensions regarding autonomy, authenticity, and the quest for significance in a multifaceted and evolving society, indicating that the public discourse and interest articulate widespread concerns about freedom of expression, political correctness, and cultural norms in the face of encroaching progressive ideologies. Adherence to traditional values and principles becomes imperative.